Eco's Eco Exploration. Compost. Hmm, where can I put this food waste? There are no trash cans anywhere. Huh? Oh, that gardener is making compost. He's putting food waste on the ground there. I know about compost. Compost is food and plant waste that's been broken down into mush. It's full of nutrients that help plants to grow. Want to see something really cool? Look at those worms. <laughs> they help to decompose the food and plant waste. That means they break it down into small parts again. Other things like insects and bacteria help too. It takes ages. Let's speed it up. Huh, look, they've made compost. So compost is full of nutrients and it helps plants to grow. What a great environmentally friendly way of recycling plant and food waste. I'm gonna start making compost of my own with this right now. Now let's test your memory. Chester's World of Wow! Dried fruit! Drying can make fruit sweeter and longer lasting, but it also makes them look pretty different. Do you know what raisins used to be? Grapes! Wow! Drying grapes removes water, making the grapes smaller. The skin stays the same size, so they go all wrinkly. The water leaves, but the sugar stays. That's why raisins are so sweet. Prunes are a tasty way to help you poop. But what were they before being dried? Plums. As plums dry into prunes, all the goodness inside is concentrated. Incredible! What do you think these crispy, wrinkly, dry things are? They're not giant toenails. They're apple chips. They're apple slices dried out. Mmm, yummy! The more water that's removed, the longer fruit lasts. So apple chips can last a long time. If you don't eat them. <laughs> wow, that's dried fruit. So go ahead, give dry a try. Let's learn how to play. Get ready to read. Wonders with <laughs> yes. baby foods including humans are born toothless oh a baby since babies don't have teeth they can't chew food so they drink milk it's healthy delicious and they don't have to chew it When human babies are around four to six months old, they can start to eat food. But usually they still don't have teeth. What kind of food do you think they need, Mash? Mushy. That's right, we mash their food, like fruit, rice, or meat, so it's soft enough to eat without teeth. Messy babies. <laughs> <laughs> yep, 
Babies may be little, but they can make big messes. <laughs> Now, let's test your memory. Find a matching pair. <laughs> Marco's big questions. Food storage. Got big questions? Me too! Let's find some big answers! Uh-oh. There's something green growing on my sandwich. It's gone bad! Ew, like this! Hmm. Why does food go bad? And what makes it last longer? Let's find out. This is speeded up, but look! Millions of tiny living things called microorganisms are eating and growing on these veggies. It's called rotting. So, to make food last longer, we have to stop microorganisms growing on it. Oh look, they're putting the food into cans and closing them up tight to keep the microorganisms out. That's clever. Microorganisms like bacteria grow in warm temperatures, but they slow down in the cold. Freeze, bacteria! So where's a cold place we can store food? The refrigerator or the freezer! So that's two ways we can store food to make it last longer. Another big question answered. Now I really want a sandwich, but hold the mold. <laughs> now let's test your memory. Find the items that begin with P. Marco's big questions. Food. Got big questions? Me too. Let's find some big answers. Nas just tried to eat my sock. Ugh, that's not food. Hmm, how can I explain what food is to him? What? is food. Well, a sock doesn't have anything in it that would help my body work or grow. So to be food, there needs to be nutrients in it which help our bodies work and grow. Like an apple. Hmm, that apple is food. It's also fruit that comes from a plant. Whoa! Look at all of this. Lots of foods come from plants, like vegetables, too. Do you know any of these fruits and vegetables? Some foods don't look like they're from plants at all, like cereal. This is mostly made from dried, mashed plant seeds. Sometimes we eat cereal with milk from animals. Not all food comes from plants. Some people eat meat, too. Meat comes from animals, like cows or chickens. So what is food? It's mostly from plants and animals. Food is the things we can eat and drink with nutrients in them to help our bodies. Someone's cooking! Foods usually smell and taste good, too. Mmm. All of this big question answering has given me a big appetite. Time for some food. Bye! Let's write food. <laughs>